Brody, when you look at the game this weekend, up against a team bottom of the league at home, does this feel like a big opportunity to get that long-awaited win? Um, yeah, 100%. I think all the lads know how important it is that we'll go out there and put on a show and try and get the three points that us and all the fans have been waiting for. Um, I think every match is a great opportunity to do this, but I think especially this weekend's a big one. You look at the, the run you've been on, how do you still keep that confidence that you know that, that big performance and that big win will come and things will turn around? Um, I think it just comes with, within the group, you know, trying to keep a positive mindset each game and each day in training and around the place and around each other and just sort of trying to block out the inside, outside noise sorry, and um, keep a positive mindset. When you're going into a bit of an extended break as well from next week, how big would it be just for the confidence and the belief amongst the group to be able to get that win going into it? Yeah, I think um, going into the break with the three points will, will be a big turning point for everyone. You know, it'll put everyone on the high just before the break, which I think that we all need and all the fans deserve and that we deserve. You know, we put down work every single day and I think it's only right that we'll get the three points. It was a big learning curve for you because obviously you came up, you made a big positive impact, played really well. But this run is something that maybe players might only experience once in their career, you know, 15 games. How have you kind of dealt with that personally when you're in a, in a new situation as well? Um, yeah, I think it's been tough, obviously. It's something that I've never experienced before, you know, and I think I'm just very thankful to have the group of lads around me that I do, you know. Um, they're always helping and supporting. They know that, that there's some young and experienced players in the group and th they always get around us, especially with the coaching staff and the managers as well. So um, I think it's just taking it game by game and not getting a bit too overwhelmed of the games in the past, you know, and always looking forward and trying to keep a positive mindset. Um, quite frustrating obviously I think as a player I think everyone's ambitions is to win and when that doesn't happen it can be very frustrating is what it is but I think it's just obviously trying to take it game by game and not getting too caught up in what's already happened you know um, obviously it's it's good to look back at the games and see where you can improve and learn but I think it's always just focus on the next game. Is this one coming up? Is this a bit of a must-win for Mother, do you feel, or is this the same as any other? Um, I think it's the same as any other. I think in this league every game's a must-win, you know, and so I think we approach it as we've approached every other game with a positive mindset and going into it trying to get the three points. If you could get the, the win, though, how much of a bunch pad could that be? I know you get the game in shoot as well, and it's great, but it would really help, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, 100%. I think um, going into this game on Saturday, if it does get the three points, then everyone's confidence less, the mood change around the, around the ground, around the stadium, you know, the fans start to get a really positive um, feeling as well around the group, um, and I think it will just be a big, boo uh, big boost for us. What was that experience like yesterday, with the late postponement? Have you had anything like that before in your career? No, no, it's a bit different obviously, but um, I think around the group it was very well you know we're, we've seen how bad the weather was and there was obviously the doubt that it could get called off but I think the group done very well just to prepare like the match is going to be on you know down to the very last minute I think we've done everything correctly and we were prepared to play the game and go out and give everything we could to get the three points if the game had a one ahead obviously it didn't um, but that's just another bump in the road. What's that like when the team bust is going to start to spread around and people start to speculate is this going to be on is this going to be off? Um, yeah you get the odd thing but as I said like no one really took it in consideration that it would be off we just sort of tried to stay as positive as we could that it would be on um, and right down to the very last minute as I said and yeah obviously the gate got called off which is completely out of our control and just yeah It's been a few games called off now Rangers Ross County off Dundee the previous weekend seems to happen quite a lot in, in this country this time of year would you like to see scheduling be addressed at some point in the future so that we have more games on and perhaps less fixture congestion around this time of year um yeah it makes sense i think um the january break is quite a good break as you know it, it comes in a time when most matches would be called off and um i think but the other thing is that we can't control the weather, you know what I mean? So it's a bit hard to, to try and play matches around the weather. At the end of the day, we're playing a game of football, so if we're playing it in the rain and in the wind, it has to be played. So.